Hi there, Eric with Hague Quality Water here. I want to do a technical video for a potential client that asks the question, what's the difference between a Hague Water Max and an Eco Water Mixed Bed Water Refiner? So first thing we'll look at here is a Water Max. As you can see in this cutaway, it's kind of dusty, but there's actually different screens in here. And the purpose of these screens is to keep the medias separate. There's three to four different media, sometimes five or six, that we put in here depending on the water quality. And the whole point of the screens is to keep the media separate because each of the medias have a different weight to them and a specific order we want to run the water through. In an eco water here, what you'll see is that there is no screen inside. It's a single distributor, like every single vessel tank. And at the top, there's a distributor as well. And that just keeps the resin or the carbon and or the carbon from coming out of the machine. But as you can see, vast differences, not only in the tank design, the tank thickness, the riser tube, tank thickness, riser tube, and totally different distributor. So if we look at some of the medias, walk inside my break room here. These are the medias we're talking about. So this is resin. This is what softens the water. As you can see, the resin is really light and flowy. This is carbon. Carbon is what removes chemicals like chlorine or reduces chemicals like chlorine, depending on the application. And this here is a mixed bed. So what that means is at the bottom of the unit, there's resin. And at the top, there's carbon. You can see two clearly different colors. And the reason I show it like this is because that's how it's shown in a brochure that these medias are just like that. The problem is every time the systems regenerate, the media gets turned. And what you end up with is some resin on top, some carbon in the middle, some resin on the bottom. Now, if you keep doing this long enough for long enough periods of time, what you'll realize is they'll pretty, pretty much just mix together part for part, and you'll end up with a completely mixed bed of both carbon and resin. The whole point of the Hague Watermax design is that we want to filter out the chemicals like chlorine before it comes in contact with the resin because the resin itself has a shortened lifespan due to chlorine. So in order for us to achieve our 25 year warranty on our resin, we have to filter out 100% of the chlorine before it even gets to the resin. So that's the big difference between a Hague Watermax and a mixed bed unit of any brand is the fact that the Hague Watermax has three screens. So there's two medias that I'm showing you here. We also have one other special media, which is the secret weapon in the Hague system, and that's called KDF. KDF is a combination of zinc and copper, and its sole purpose is to pre-filter out the majority of the free chlorine in the top compartment before it comes in contact with the carbon, extending the life of that carbon potentially 95 times longer than the carbon would last by itself. So when we're talking about no maintenance, we're talking about not having to replace the medias inside of a Hague Water Max, guaranteeing those medias for 25 years. If you have any questions on whole house filtration systems, Hague Water Max, or any other water related questions, please reach out to us. We look forward to talking to you. Thanks for watching.